Okay, I am overhauling my snapper lawnmower. You can see I've got all the wheels taken off. It had plastic wheels on it. I ordered metal wheels, and I'll show you that in a little while. Ever since I was a kid, I've paid to have my lawnmower serviced every year. I had a lawn mowing job, and I was always intimidated by it. And I just today decided I was just going to do it for myself and realized this is the simplest thing in the world, and I've been grossly overpaying for this service my entire life. So to change out the air filter, there's two screws. This one and this one, they're the same size. Uh, they are both a, uh, I don't know, this is my quarter inch drive. And I'll even tell you the size. Uh, it's these two screws right here, they're both the same size. And it's just an eight millimeter uh, socket. Once you have those screws loosened, you just take this whole piece out. It's hard to do with one hand. There you go. And then this screw comes out, and then you just pop this door open. Okay, once you have this open, you can see the air filter right there, and if you just kind of wiggle, oh, it's so hard to do with one hand, sorry. Well, you can just kind of pull it out this way. There it goes. Oh, there. This this whole thing just sets in those little slots right there. So if you get that out, it makes this a lot easier. You can see it's definitely uh, ready for a change. Ordered the new one on Amazon. It came with a spark plug, this air filter, and the oil, which is SAE30 for a snapper. Uh, the mower, it's a snapper, and then the engine is Briggs & Stratton. The whole thing, I don't know, it was well worth it. It was like $17 or I don't know, something like that. And uh, now it's just as simple as putting this back together and I've got the air filter swapped out. Okay, now I just popped that all back into place, super easy to do. And then I just tighten those two bolts back up and now your air filter's changed. Now this is really hard to do with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down and put those two bolts back. Okay, when you're putting this back on, make sure this little tab goes in this slot here at the top. That's what holds it in place, and then just tighten that screw up. Now for the oil change. I'm actually not going to drain mine out. I'm just going to top it off. You burn this oil pretty quickly on these mowers. I can't remember what it is, but every hour I think it burns, you know, so many ounces. I can't remember. So I'm just topping mine off. Um, so make sure not to overfill. That's just as bad as underfilling and uh, just use your dipstick over here on the far side. That's this guy right here. Don't get it mixed up with the gas, that would be bad. It definitely goes in the one with the little oil symbol on it. And again, just got this on Amazon in a kit. Okay, the kit also comes with a brand new spark plug. Uh, my spark plug's still working just fine, so I'm not too worried about trying to uh, swap it out. So I'll just hang on to this for maybe uh, a year or two or three from now, and then I'll swap it out and you need to make sure to gap it here properly, but uh, all the instructions come with it on, on the proper distance to gap this metal flange from the, uh, the actual spark uh, igniter here. So I'll just hang on to that. But if you needed to swap yours out, just throw a spark plug socket wrench on that, pull it out, put this one in after you've gapped it and you're good to go. Pro tip, if you're having a hard time starting your mower, it should not be hard to start. These Briggs and Stratton engines are notoriously easy to start. But I noticed on mine that the uh, the bubble is cracked, if you look at that. And here's a little pro tip. You can still make this work. If you push your finger on it and as it comes out, just keep your skin sealing that crack. It'll still pump uh, gas through the bubble. But um, also on Amazon, bought myself a new bubble. And I even got a red one because I thought, why not? That'll look super cool with my uh, uh, red and black mower. So I'm swapping out this... Uh, uh, this bubble primer. I watched one YouTube video and it turns out it's super easy to replace these. So this is a little bit freaky, but just grab the uh, old one and just rip it out. I need two hands to do this, so we'll come back and I'll have this ripped out. Okay, I ripped my bubble off and there's a little lock ring in there and I actually got lucky when I ripped out my bubble. It exposed the top, oh, there goes the whole thing. That's awesome. Uh, it exposed the uh, lock ring that's in there and you can see the top half of my lock ring already came out so there's a little tab on top right there that you just need to stick a uh, screwdriver down into there 
and depress that tab. But in my case, I don't have to because it already popped out. So then there's a corresponding tab on the bottom. Ooh, I don't know if I can get the camera there, but it's just right there. You, you really can't miss it. There's, there's this little gap right there and you push up with a uh, flathead screwdriver. And, uh, oops, sorry. And uh, pop that out. Okay, here's a look at the lock ring. Uh, you can see I actually broke mine as I was prying it out, no big deal. This is the top tab, this is the bottom tab. You're just, you're just trying to squeeze them together like this so that it pops out. But once that's done, now just install the new set. You want the tabs on the rings pointing towards you, pointing forwards, and you need to put the bubble through the rings uh, uh, through the tab, sorry, it's hard to do with one hand, like so beforehand. Also, lightly oil this inside surface according to these instructions that came with the new bulb. Okay, my new primer bulb is in and I get style points because it looks rad. Okay, the wheels that were on my lawnmower were plastic and they were badly cracked. So I bought these, again, just on Amazon. Um, I just went out with a tape measure and measured the diameter. I believe these are 10 inches. Don't quote me on that, it might be 11, I'm pretty sure it's 10. And my model, you'll notice it's not just a circular uh, hub in there because it's a self-propelled model. So it has to be kind of this more like oval shape where it's square on the sides because as that bar moves, that's what makes these wheels move. So make sure to get the right wheel attachment. But I just uh, figured as long as I'm sprucing up my uh, lawnmower that I would grab this $5 bottle of spray paint. It's the color they use for fire hydrants, it looks like. And I think it'll look really cool to spray paint these wheels. So obviously you don't need to do this. This is going way over the top, but kind of want to pimp out my lawnmower. So I'm going to tape this and then I'm going to take a uh, razor knife and cut around and uh, and then pull the tape off of this part and I'll also cut around here so that that's taped so I don't get uh, any spray paint in there. And I think it'll look cool. I'll be right back and show you what this looks like. This probably goes without saying but make sure that your the metal part is nice and clean before proceeding. As you can see I've used these wheels before on the mower um, so uh, I just wiped these down really good with a rag and a little bit of water and uh, the, I think they're good for painting. And it doesn't need to be perfect, I mean this is just a lawnmower so keep that in mind. I can't imagine anybody will actually care about the way I'm taping this but um, having done a wheel already off video, I definitely tape around the wheel first and then tape straight sections across. That way when you go to pull it off, you just have to rip this and it all comes off in one piece. Um, so my next tape will go there, just straight across, and then here, and then here, and then I'll cut it. Okay, as you can see, I have it all taped, and now I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to cut around that center part, and then I'll cut around the uh, edge. And we'll come back, because I can't cut with one hand and film at the same time, it's too hard. Okay, if you've cut this nicely, again, really hard to do with one hand. This should peel off, should peel off all in one piece. There we go. And now I've got my center hub taped. Make sure that tape is pressed down. Real nice. And then I'll uh, get the spray painting. Okay, well as you can see, uh, there's red paint on the cardboard already. That's because I've already done the back sides of all of these. So now I'm doing the, uh, the front side. And I know that's way overkill. I just knew that if I had paint on one side and not on the inside of the wheel, that it would bug me when I saw it. So uh, I'm just doing it. Um, the taping only takes, you know, 10 minutes tops. And uh, it goes pretty quick. And it's super satisfying to spray paint these for some reason. So. Um, I'll give you guys bird's eye view uh, when I get going here. Okay, here we go. That one looks good. Oh crap. It had a little, little piece of something on it. That looks good. 
I'm not really watching the camera, so my apologies if I'm not really lined up super well here. I'm more watching uh, my, what I'm actually doing. Let's see if I need to touch up any spots. I'm putting it on pretty thick just because I have zero other projects that require red spray paint. So uh, yeah, now I'll just let that dry. I'm not gonna let it get all the way dry uh, before I pull the paint off. I'll pull the paint probably here in about five or 10 minutes and, uh, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I can't do this part with just one hand, but I'm just gonna use my knife to gently lift that tape off and then uh, to get the, the tape going. I'll show you when it's done. Okay, I'm super pleased with the way this turned out. And you know, it's not perfect. Like you can see around the edges, uh, here a little bit um, but pretty darn good for just going on a lawnmower so that's the side I just painted and then there's the original side and again you can see a couple little paint spots in there but that'll all be covered up by washers anyway can't believe how well that turned out it's just beautiful okay you'll notice on these wheels there's one side that uh, kind of domes out and then one side that's uh, a little bit closer in I'm putting the dome side of the wheel although I think it's made to be on the outside I'm actually putting it on the inside. That gives my lawnmower a little bit overall wider stance, which I like. I don't want it so narrow. I want it a little bit wider so that the wheel lines up a little bit better with the edge of the actual cutting uh, blade. So you can do it any way you want, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Okay, if you tighten your wheels too much, they'll bind. So just get them tight to where they'll still uh, roll freely, but they don't wiggle. That's the place you want to be. On the front wheels. Back wheels are on the drive, so they won't rotate easily like that. Okay, one of the coolest upgrades I made to my mower, I bought the softest, thickest hand bike handlebar wrap there is available on Amazon. This is it. Uh, it wasn't very much money. I don't remember how much, maybe 30 bucks or something. And as you can see, I screwed up. <laughs> I did not know. Uh, I thought incorrectly that it would just wrap and just stick all by itself. But when you're done wrapping it, you actually need to uh, use electrical tape and you should only do the electrical tape on the edges. Uh, I ran out of wrap right here because I tried to come back for a third wrap. So this is actually double wrapped and this is triple wrapped on this side. <laughs> So I ended up uh, wrapping electrical tape and I did way more than I needed to. Uh, you know, it was my first time doing it, so I learned. But um, it, for all of you guys, start on one end and wrap it here and then go all the way back. And then if you have enough, do a third wrap and then just do the electrical tape on the edge of this down to the bar. If you can see, that's where it is. So you shouldn't have this in the middle. Same thing on this side, just hit that edge and then come down on the bar. And I gotta tell you, that's the best upgrade I did. It is so soft, uh, especially here where it's triple wrapped. It's still really soft here on the double wrap, but I can definitely tell a difference on the triple wrap. And it feels amazing. Can't wait to know my life.